Welcome to my thoughts on The Bear, Season 2, Episode 3. This episode is called Sunday. So, yet another episode I love. Spoilers for this episode and the ones leading up to it. Please support the SAC After Strikers. There's a link in the description box. The top link is to donate to the, the Strikers. And then there are a number of links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. And let's dive in. So, yeah, we open at Al-Anon, and Carmi is, you know, explaining how, you know, there's there's no fun. And, let's see, very intense close-up, and, yeah, amazing performance as usual. He, you know, he explains... There's always another shoe to drop, which you were warned not to launch a millipede into space. This is what happens. And, yeah, there are now 11 weeks left before they open, which, yeah, not, not a lot. And, yeah, we get a montage of, you know, various restaurants have closed, which is, of course, something that makes Sydney concerned that that's going to happen here as well and <laughs> I like the the thing you know what sucks about restaurants how much time you got cuz <laughs> cuz you know I mean I could spend the rest of my life just talking about that exact thing and yeah, you know, the, the, let's see, the, the food, uh, you know, fails again, you know, a, a second time for Sydney. Um, they know it is too salty, which I guess means that it has the same core quality as many a modern Star Wars fan. And... Yeah, we see Ibrahim choose not to go to the the college, and yeah, you know he he really is struggling with this. And we meet Ava before we you know we've heard her voice on the phone, but this is the first time we actually see her. And yeah, you know, sweet kid. She, Pretty decent performance, you know. The let's see. I love Taylor Swift too. I just needed a break. I promise you, Ava. It is not that we are never ever getting back together. And <laughs> apparently. Carmi accidentally gave Claire the wrong number, and, you know, they have a whole thing where, you know, joking about that, and, you know, oh, she's gonna send all the facts, and there's so many facts to beat him up, and <laughs> it was kind of funny when, you know, so, my address, I, I know your address, how about this, I'll tell Neil the address, he can tell you, you know, because, because, she ended up having to get his real number from Neil. And they, you know, she does say, you know, is it okay that I have your number now? Like, you know, and, and it, it, you know, it is like this nice awkward moment of like, because, no, like, it, he really didn't mean to. It's not that he was trying to avoid her. And... Yeah, you know, the, uh, you know, she said, you know, she's asking him for a favor, uh, you know, and he agrees, even though he's ridiculously busy. I, I like the thing, you know, are you busy today? And we just see all this stuff on the, on the whiteboard, and he's like, D define busy, you know, just, and yeah, you know, because her, her cousin bailed on her. You know, Denny? No, no, Denny's dead. They killed Denny? Those bastards! And, 
yeah, Sydney talks to various chefs around the city. Not a lot of candidates, you know, no one, you know, answers the online ads. She does get a lot of advice on uh, partner, you know, a lot of people have had bad experiences with uh, partners. <laughs> I like the thing with, you know, the, the, you know, so uh, when are you opening? Oh, May. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, that was, yeah, I don't. I think she was hoping for a slightly more optimistic, supportive response to that particular piece of information. And, you know, Sydney, as occasionally she does when under pressure, fucks up and tries poaching. And it is also like, you know, you, like, they are not having, even before Joel Gilman, angry chef, walks out, and calls her out for it, you can see the people she's talking to, you know, like, if, if Angry Chef hadn't shown up, one of them would have been like, look, lady, please don't, just walk away, this is not the right thing to do now. And <laughs> Sydney goes in, and the walls have been knocked down, and, you know, Neil helpfully explains, and I, I quite appreciate the, you know, you know, okay, so we've got this, this, and the other thing, we, you know, we got raccoons, and, you know, she's like, raccoons plural. Look, the Federation really thought it had it made here, okay? And then there was this one who was really foul-mouthed, very aggressive, would not put down its massive gun, like, you know, just real, real problem. Let's see, and, you know, Carmi gets very passive-aggressive when Sydney, you know, she's like, okay, maybe next time call, he's like, so the next time we have to knock the wall down, there's nothing we can do. I should call, you know, and, and after, you know, he, he agrees, and, and he does the, the sign on, on his chest, he's like, you know, it's, it's okay, we're cool, and at least one of the, I think it might have been Richie, not a, not a huge amount of Richie in this episode, that was, you know, I'm always, I always love when, when Richie gets to really go nuts, you know, but, but, yeah, he, he goes like, ooh, just the maturity of a 12 year old as usual and yeah you know at the the very end of the episode Sydney you know how they say you know because yeah so Sydney, Sydney's trying again to to cook a, a thing and you know how they say third times the charm they weren't talking about Sydney cooking this, this, like, I guess they're all desserts all three times. I've, there's so much going on in the show. Uh, but, but, you know, she's, she's trying out. She's trying to figure out exactly the right way to, to cook this thing. And it keeps going wrong. And it is really, really bothering her. So, yeah, as usual, we end an episode on of this very uneasy situation. I have to admit, I was kind of expecting the this thing of, uh, you know, the fact that Claire calls, asks, and gets a favor of, of Carmi. I thought that was going to be a thing. Like, in, in season one, there was that one episode where Carmi... Actually, now, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to recall the exact details. Um, was that, was it when he went to Al-Anon? One of the times he didn't tell Sydney? There was, there was a time where he just leaves and Sydney is stuck, you know, and, and she's having to, to carry the load and, you know, being disrespected by Tina and all of this stuff, you know, so, Yeah. Um, I was thinking that they were going to do that in this episode. 
with the with the favor but I guess that exchange was more about the relationship between the two of them there's um, according to the credits Chef Rob was played by Rob Levitt and Donny Madia was also played by himself so that's pretty cool I, I'm guessing like actual Chicago chefs and yeah that is what I had to say about the, oh, right right um it was pretty funny when you know Marcus and Neil are trying to move the thing and Marcus is like we're not gonna be able to move it as long as your foot is against it you know just yeah and you know did you just say looking for it? I just said looking for it. I've never said looking for it in all my life. Okay, how about we move this? How about looking forward to that? And I think that might be the entire... Yeah, that's, that's everything I had about this episode. So, yeah. Um, catch you sometime next week. Bye.